Density and Dispersion. In this segment of the tutorial, we will introduce the measurement of density and the patterns of dispersion. Population Introduction Population Population is a group of individuals or of a given species inhabiting a specific geographic area and exhibiting a characteristic density and dispersion. Population ecology is the study of population fluctuations and what factors regulate population size. Population density is the number of individuals per unit area or volume. Measurement of density a variety of sampling techniques are used to estimate densities and total population sizes. In most cases, it's impractical or impossible to count all the individuals in a population. For example, an estimate of the number of alligators in the Florida Everglades on a count of individuals in a few sample plots or quadrants of one square kilometer. Population sizes are estimated by indirect indicators such as the number of nests or burrows. A population range. Population range is the geographic limits within which a population lives. Ecological density. Density of organisms in habitat actually occupied. This is defined as the ecological density. Habitat selection. Behavior of animals in moving toward a particular microenvironment within the range that satisfies their requirements. Habitat selection is the hierarchical process of behavioral responses that results in the disproportionate use of habitats by individuals. Patterns of dispersion. Biological dispersal is the process by which a species maintains or expands its distribution. Dispersal is movement away from the existing population or parent. This is important because organisms of the same age need the same resources within a given ecosystem. Dispersal relieves pressure for resources in an ecosystem. In this image, you can see a bee with pollen on its back. This bee will facilitate the dispersal of these pollen grains. Dispersion. Pattern for spacing of individuals within the boundaries of the population. There are three kinds, clumped dispersion, uniform dispersion, and random dispersion. These are the three dispersion patterns. Models of population growth. In this segment, we will introduce exponential growth and logistic growth. Population size and density. Population size and density reflect the relative rates of processes that add individuals to the population and processes that eliminate individuals from the population. Natality, birth, an essential factor in population dynamics, adding individuals. Death, an essential factor in population mortalities, essentially taking away individuals from a population. Exponential growth. Exponential growth is the growth rate of a function that is always proportional to the function's current size. Generation time, also known as doubling time, is the period of time required for an organism to double in number. Logistic growth. Logistic curve model, the S curve of a set. The initial stages of growth is approximately exponential. As saturation occurs, the growth slows and at maturity growth stops. 
One prediction of the logistic model applies universally. No population can grow indefinitely. Logistic Equation Carrying capacity is the maximum population size that can be supported by the available resources. Logistic Equation is a mathematical model of population. It is based on the assumption of potential exponential growth. It also has a term that compares the actual size of the population to the carrying capacity. Regulation of population. These include density dependent and independent factors, applications, and population cycles. Density dependent factors. Population size is regulated through density dependent and density independent factors. Density independent factors are any factor influencing population regulation that has a greater impact as population density increases. Example, a swarm of locusts can eliminate the vegetation of an area virtually overnight. Density independent factors. Density independent factors is any factor influencing population regulation that acts to reduce population size by the same fraction whether the population is large or small. Example, climatic factors or habitat disruption such as volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, or snowfall reduce population size by a given fraction regardless of the density of the population. Applications Population density may change with temperature, but this environmental factor operates only indirectly by causing fluctuations in some other factor such as food supply or the activity of a predator. Agricultural pests like insects and weeds are controlled by applying theories of population regulation. An example is the prickly pear cactus. It's been controlled on the rangelands of Australia by the introduction of cactus caterpillars. They're herbivores that function as density dependent regulators of the cactus population. Population cycles. Some populations of birds, mammals, and insects fluctuate in density with remarkable regularity. One idea is that crowding regulates cyclical populations, probably by affecting the organism's endocrine systems. Stress, resulting from high population density, may alter hormonal balance and reduce fertility. Example. In experiments with crowded house mice, the animal's adrenal glands became overactive, birth rates decline, infant mortality increases, sexual maturation is delayed, and reproductive organs shrink. 